Hello boys and girls, hello mommies and daddies. Welcome to another episode of Cooking at Home with Daddy Henry. My name is Henry. I'm Charlie. I'm Emma. And he's our daddy. That's me. And today we will be look making a scallion pancake from Welcome Bake. Yay! Unboxing time. Now Welcome Bake is really considerate. They even give you a rolling pin. Okay, this is called a rolling yeah. pin. No, that doesn't they're, they're not listening to me. Rolling pin! Rolling, rolling pin. pin, thank you. Okay. Now this is obviously flour, very important. For This is the uh, flour for the shortbread. Oh, obviously it's not a scallion pancake without scallion. And this is, could also be called green onions in some Western countries. Okay, and this is the sunflower oil, also for the shortbread. This is a little extra to keep the moisture. Lots of sunflower oil and um, extra flour just in case we need it. And a measuring cup. Okay, are we ready to make some scallion pancakes? Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go. Okay, here we go with the very first step of making our scallion pancakes. Obviously, pancake, right? Start with the flour. Here we go. Then we need to pour some hot water, right? The whole thing at one time. How much hot water? The whole thing at one time. The whole thing. Well, how much is the whole thing? 150 cc. Okay, that's how what I was aiming at. Okay, and first you start mixing it with some chopsticks. Like so. I think Charlie should make this. <laughs> what are you doing? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're mean. Obviously, we mix with chopsticks or any kind of utensils you like that would help you mix the flour and the water together. Okay. Now you want okay. To pour the warm water one time, no, one by no. one at a time. Okay, <laughs> so basically we put the the hot water in all at once, okay? As opposed to, because Emma's done this before, so she's giving us a hint of what's to come. Now we're going to pour the uh, room temperature water. Yes, a little bit at a time, not all at once. There you go. Thank you, Emma. Now, when it gets a little too difficult to mix with the chopsticks, then it's time for Emma, our master mixer, to use her hands. How are we doing, Charlie? Bad. Why? Is it getting it's really hard. hard? Okay. Okay, here. Okay, yeah. Add it all in. Emma, take the flour off the chopstick with your hands. Go for it. Now, we want to make sure that all of the powder is gone and is simply a one big pile of dough. Okay, as you can see, the dough has, uh, Emma, the professional mixer has worked really hard the dough and this is what it will look like when all of the powder is gone. And then uh, we're gonna set it aside for 30 minutes for it to get fermented, 30 minutes. And then while that's happening, we're going to work on our shortbread. This is the sunflower oil. Open it up. Yes. Pour it in a bowl. Heat it up. Heat up the flour, uh, the sunflower oil. And then add the uh, extra flour. Once again, mix, 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 as always. Okay, and that's the shortbread. Okay, now that the dough has been fermented for 30 minutes, we could divide it, uh, it up to different, well, however many pieces you want, right? If you want bigger portions, you could divide the dough into four different pieces or four different slices. If you want six, that's okay too. It could go up to as many as eight pieces. 
depending on the mem different members in your family. Okay, take the blade, cover the blade with um, sunflower oil. You will find it in the package and then just divide it into however, we're gonna do four because there are four of us in our family. So we're gonna do four pieces. Nice. Right, now cover the different pieces with the sunflower oil. Put them in a pan, one by one. And this also needs to be fermented for another 30 minutes. Remember to cover them with the sunflower oil. Okay, four different pieces for Henry, Jasmine, Charlie, and Emma. Now cover it up with a sheet of plastic wrap. Wait for it to ferment for another 30 minutes. Cool, 30 minutes. Um, now we're gonna put the nonstick oil on the table because if you don't put that on, your dough is gonna stick on the table and it's gonna be very hard to clean off. And we have to roll the dough flat. And then don't forget to put nonstick oil on the on the stick or else your dough will be sticked on the stick. Flatten it into a circle. It doesn't have to be too perfect, but just try to make it a circle. And you don't have to make it really thick. Um, you could like cut the spring onions the way you want it to be and you don't have to add too much or too less Just add how much you want and you have to spray evenly. Don't spray too much on one part And now you have to roll it and cover up all of the spring onions And you have to stick the opening spots together or else all of it will leak out when you're cooking. Now roll it up into one small circle. and put the last part of your roll inside to the center of the ball. Now flatten the scallion pancake. Okay, today we made a scallion pancake. It's actually not that hard. And you could do this at home. And then it's actually pretty good. Um, so try it. <laughs> My name is Charlie. My name is Emma. And... <laughs> Daddy! He's working. Bye-bye. <laughs> Baby's jiggling.
Jiggling, 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 jiggling.